Warning, the following contains depictions of adult themes, drug use, and wanton violence, sometimes flat-out war crimes. Listener discretion is advised. This is Star Forge Stones of Fortune. Starring Carlos S. Solrock, the Seer, Ramses as Merrick the Unseen. Jose as Jimmy Reigns, and Luke as Spike. And I am your guide, your host, your editor, and all those other things, Redstone, also known as Adam in these recordings. So did everyone get a chance to watch the viral news or listen to it? I was actually going halfway through it right now. I, I did not get to the ending. <laughs> Say it again. That dude was wild. Yeah, this shit's getting pretty interesting. I like the... You're still laughing. <laughs> I mean, I can I can play it if you guys need. Yeah, could you? Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, Hopefully I can. Either. Share screen. You guys can't hear it? Yeah, it played for a bit, but then it stopped. This is Viral News with your host, the Madman Mike on the Mic. Viral News is brought to you via computer virus, thus diverting all of the triumvirate's propaganda machine to make sure you get... Close the captions, not the best. Can you read the volume? Oh, raise the volume, man. Mike on the Mic, coming in. What happened? Can you raise the volume? Yeah. Cool. Uh, if it's still low, then you might have to just raise the stream volume. At you from our undisclosed location with all the news you can use for Stardate 3.162277700. Yes, that's right, it's just about square root 11, which is, of course, the Concha de Tomadre, which, for those of you not in the know, celebrates <laughs> Andy Skywalker blowing up the Sun Destroyer, freeing the United Federation from the tyrant Leto II. God Emperor of my anus. It's my anus. Sorry, I've got an interview later after headlines, and they are laughing because they're a fucking child. It's my anus, not my anus. The problem being that our guest demanded that, one, we wouldn't say who he was until we got to the interview, and two, we had to do it live. All right? Actually, last square root... I asked our go-to expert on just about everything, Aram Taram, about the what the meaning of La Concha de Tu Madre. You're still laughing, dude. I don't... Uh, but I asked him um, <laughs> what the meaning of that is, uh, and I must have caught him on one of the few bad days that I've ever seen him have. The only message I got back was that I could go fuck myself. Speaking <laughs> of Aram the Bodega, we are still getting the message that they are temporary, temporally unavailable. I misspoke, like, I misread it the first time, but they are temporally unavailable. I'm still not sure what's going on there. We've received no word besides the poem that was embedded in the message, which uh, we shared before, but in case you missed it, I'll read it again. Awoke in earliest light, dim, quiet, glossy stillness, time, eternity, passes, flashes, ripples of interference, construction, destruction, signs of life, ducks, quantity two, digits grasp, piece of peace, disturbing sanctuary. Yet, as memory persists, flat circles and 
you know, not not great poetry, to be perfectly honest. Kind of doesn't make sense to me. Uh, weird. Sorry, we should probably get uh, <coughs> back to headlines of wherever I actually do this show. Um, our top story is that the price of soy sauce has been just skyrocketing. Soy sauce, of course, the common name for the drug that gives adepts their abilities. Viral News has learned that the reason for the recent shortage is that all contact from the sector Boundless Shoal have been severed. Like, they've heard nothing back. The silent council who have controlled that sector for basically as long as since it was discovered, they've refused to respond whatsoever, not even to deny these allegations. Sources tell Viral News that all of the drugs that have been supplied by the silent council for the last 40 to 45 days uh, has all been from their emergency storage. This is being depleted quickly as recent demand has increased so much due to adepts being the only ones that can currently navigate hyperspace due to this Axion Storm thing and as no one yet understands what's going on with the Axion Storms. Truly don't know if this will go away soon or if it's somehow related to the rise of Legion and the Forge Spawn. The fact that Legion is in the spot most likely to benefit from this uh, as the AI is able to navigate hyperspace without the use of drugs leads to certain conclusions. He did reach out to Legion for comment, and of course they denied everything, which was a (laughs) no surprise to anyone here at Viral News. But the prophet, uh, the leader of the Mormon Federated Forces, claims that the Forge Spawn emit the Axions, and that they are the that they are causing the storms, and that Legion is using the Forge Spawn to cause all of this. Not only was out there, there was a hammer defense. He published his belief that this was going to happen in a book shortly after the Exodus where he describes the dead coming back to life and them whipping hyperspace into a frenzy. We have heard that he's been quoting the title of the book where that comes from. Uh, Legion is the Cobra and I am the Mongoose. There's a link in the doobly-doo of our correspondent Longshot, where she got to sit down one-on-one with the Prophet in a very rare interview. This interview took place at the beginning of the peace talks at Unity Station, moments before the giant battle started. Personally, I found the interview a little disturbing. I'm not sure if it's the way that the Prophet kind of talked and acted. I mean, he was both, like, aloof from so much of what was happening, uh, but when he talked about things, he seemed genuinely concerned for the safety of mankind and but then there's his statements of how his knowledge of the future is coming to an end and his past self is about to leave (coughs) and this will be his first time getting this far along I don't know he also kind of seemed like a man who was forcing himself to just keep going okay don't get me wrong I, I see you looking at me, man. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't advocate listening to military leaders basically ever. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, I guess we're gonna listen to you in a second. Uh, I don't trust trust those that are. I don't trust those with power, especially power of an almost entirely violent nature. But he did predict space snakes and an AI trying to take over humanity. And the dead coming back to life in hyperspace getting the dude sit down what what are you Merrick what are you fucking out what are you doing why Merrick why all right all right the uh oh, something <laughs> playing? Hold on. <laughs> True playing. Um, oh, it's it's an older one. Yeah. It was embedded in the message. Two episodes ago. Um, yeah, so that is dated. That that's uh, the star date is uh, what was it? Uh, BB tells you that it is forty two point four two four two four two four two four two like repeating uh days away from from when you received it 
So that's in the future. Yeah, forty-two. Di- that is. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's. it's Did we just lose Jose. Lose? Yeah, Jose's on the phone did. with Juan. Uh, damn it, Juan. <laughs> yeah, Juan's apparently about to pull up or some bullshit and. Uh, What's the word? Where uh, police take your shit? Confiscate? No, where it's like where they stop you on the road and they take your car because they needed to chase somebody. Uh, well, he's about to do that to our TV. Be, be, being a cop? To your TV. <laughs> yeah. He's pulling up so he can watch the Astros game. Um, and, uh, so he's talking to Juan right now about that. And Chris is like, fuck that. I'm watching the Yankees game. <laughs> Just playing at the same time, apparently. In Yankees. So what do you guys remember about last session? Anything important happened? Damn. Uh, yeah, I came out. As, Is that the uh, one where we are rescuing and renaming Snuffles like three different times? That also happened, but you... the main thing that happened was I came out as a double agent. and then That's right. Yeah, rescued my original source, and uh, y'all killed him on accident, or y'all, I mean Jose, killed the guy. <laughs> the fake me. What, you did? But did he kill him? Cause he, he got him with a headshot. He yeah, I think I blew his fucking head off with like a giant sniper. You did kill the clone Merrick yeah. that's connected to Legion inside a Legion facility. You know, there's a possibility that, you know, the, the, the anyway. thing that backs up people that, like, can recreate their bodies, mm, must say there we're... might be more than one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're um, yes. about that now. Like, knowing that <laughs> we just got that transmission. Yeah. Unless that was real Merrick. <laughs> In which case, I'm, like, looking at Merrick like, I don't blame you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Especially after seeing me, and I'm I'm over here all uh, tortured and skin and bones. So I'm gonna say what happened. At least some of what happened to Merrick was at some point, like when they first grabbed you, uh, they end up putting you in a cell, and uh, you end up breaking out of the cell. Oh hell yeah! And you're breaking through the facility. You're hacking your way out. You end up getting on. Um, like you steal a ship and you're flying away and you find out you're on a fucking simulation and they throw you back. Like you wake up, you're, you're still in a cell. Um, you end up breaking out again. This time it's harder. There's more security. Um, you're half, you have to use your, uh, your, your shade power a bunch. You actually, like, hone some infiltration skills. Uh, and again, you find out you're on a fucking simulation. Um, how many more times do you try to break out before... How many more times do you break out, find out it's a simulation, until you stop trying? I never stopped. You never stopped? Okay. He thinks it's a simulation still. <laughs> I mean, you might. I mean, you literally, like, if you never stopped trying, like, literally, like, there's sometimes they let you get farther away. Sometimes they let you, uh, they never let you get back to the Nimbus, though. Um, be, and you're, I mean, you can draw conclusions to that, but they literally never got let you get back to the Nimbus. Hmm. I don't know, I guess a couple hundred times until I eventually was like, fuck this, it all went crazy. <laughs> I mean, you were there for a long time. You were there for a while. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so la- when last we left, uh, you had rescued Merrick and you were headed to tw- towards Morphus. Um, literally, the you're, you're just leaving um, the the covenant space when you guys actually do uh you get that message you get that viral news updates on your computer with like a date from the future 42 days and some change in the future 
Um, are you still continuing to Morpheus? Is there anything? I'm like, what, what are your, now that you know that and you've heard that viral news, does it change your plans at all? Or are you still going to Morpheus? I feel like we need to save Madman Mike on the mic. I mean, who else is going to do that? Yeah, we got us to. I want to save him. I'm about it. All right. I mean, that's it's 42 days in the future. Um, there is a link in the message, like at the bottom, where you can send an encrypted message. Um, ba- I mean, you don't know any other way to contact him uh, because that it. Uh, but that is the way that people can like write messages directly to Viral News. Mm, what's our call sign again? Oh, I guess Nimbus, right? So just like a Golden Goons. Golden Goons. Oh, yeah, we are the Golden. Can we can we just send him the video we just heard? Does he know about that video? Encrypted? Can we send know. it? In- I don't know, man. You can uh, you can totally send it to him and ask if he knows. Um, we'll also be believe... like, it's a different merit. Yeah. We should. Uh, I think so. so yeah, if you guys send that message, um, you would get a very quick reply. Like. Mm. This is Viral News, Madman Mike. Uh, it is great to hear from the Golden Goons. Uh, you guys are our heroes here. Uh, what, um, I guess, he, he's like, what do you mean by there's another Merrick? And Oh, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. And they, oh, and first, um, you get a thing. It's like, do you are you cool talking on the record, or is this all off the record? Uh, everything we say is off the record. <laughs> Okay. But you know, uh, it's on the record. Okay, say, and then replies a uh, same... It's always off the record. Cool. Never uh, same... <laughs> well, you guys have been on the record before with uh, uh, Longshot. No, uh, I mean, we only speak the truth, but, like, you know, it's off the record. Wink. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, so... We, do you guys explain about the other Merrick or? Um, yeah. yeah, and I'm like, Charlie we're, we're, Kelly. We're doing Legion, essentially. Like, so there's one Merrick, and now there's two Merricks. There may be three Merricks. We killed one. We rescued another. He thought it was a simulation. Technically, we don't know how many Merricks there are, if there are more. There could be an army of Merricks. What we do know is that you can blow their heads off. And you may not be able to see them. True. That's that's Damn. a real problem. Damn. I mean, so one of the things you guys can figure out. Ah, so let me be so op. <laughs> well, one of the re- you you're able to figure out it's very likely that one of the reasons why they had you in that simulation was that they were scanning you and learning, like they were figuring out how you are, like because you're a badass. So they're stealing you. And they've already made another you that was like a okay copy. Now they're clearly trying to make a better copy. Um, let's uh, see. Uh, uh, viral news actually replies to like, would you mind if we send a long shot to meet up with you so we could uh, get some more info just to find out what's going on? Yeah, she's cool. Cool. Uh, uh, he's like, she's currently on Morpheus. Um, uh, but we're, they're going to also send some people to the uh, Boundless Shoal because they just found... I mean, the date lines up. It's like about this time is where the when the drugs stop flowing. So he's like, thanks, thanks for the heads up. We'll be sending uh, reporters out that way. ASAP. Uh, yeah, anything you guys need, let us know here at Viral News. Like we 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 want we want to help you guys fight the good fight. We'll say that like if any of us ever reach out to them, they should reach out to the rest of us. Yeah, that sounds like a good call. Uh, thanks for the warning. I mean, it's yeah. I think I think we're gonna have to stop allowing anyone to come to our secret base. I think every any future interviews will all be done in the field. Because, uh, yeah, that seems like a bad idea. Word up, word up. Even if yeah, it is you guys. Yeah, the secret base is the secret. 
Yeah, but it was. I mean, it was. It was you guys. I mean, that's the thing is, you just. You just told us that 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 you posed or someone poses you to kill us. So, yeah, like we trust. I mean, we trust you guys. Like up until you telling me that one of you kill us. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That's a uh, th- thanks for the warning. Yeah, uh, no problem. I mean, you guys get how ridiculous this is. That like out of this is not him saying. It. This is me saying it. Like it's got kind of ridiculous. You call him all like, hey, by the way. Here, here, here's um, some audio of one of us murdering you, just so you have a heads up. Yeah. And, I mean, if it had been anyone else, it might have been taken as a threat, because it's like, uh, here, we just pretended to murder you or something. So. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. We're here, we're here. We just are so. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so you guys can... Continue on to Morphus. Uh, it's an uneventful trip once you're through, um, once you're out of Covenant space. Uh, Merrick's able to. You've got now access to the the medical facilities you left behind here, um, and you're able to patch yourself up. Which you, your character actually wasn't hurt. Like you're when we when we last left, you had five spirit and five health, so I think you're um, you're physically okay. You've been able to patch yourself like whatever minor stuff was there. It might have been like, um, well, you've been sober since they uh, since since you got nabbed. Does that change anything about how you act? <laughs> it becomes one of those people that like. It's like, yeah, man, I don't think I need to smoke weed again. I got these crystals in my neck still. I'm good. <laughs> he doesn't have a crystal in his neck. Oh. Real Merrick never did that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn. I lost my abilities. My my neck jewel. Neck jewel. Oh, no, those... Yeah, you weren't even there to be shown how to do it. The other guys have, and they never tried it, but they know how, or at least they were kind of shown how it works. But yeah, you you were not there for that. Uh, it's definitely something you could still try, like if you find out about how that works, or like, yeah, if you just hear about it, you... Um, ooh, but another thing that happens is now that you're on, you're back on the ship... It is, uh, so I don't know if you guys all remember, but back one of your earliest missions, you guys went to Dagobah, and you grabbed a device on the advice of Nos, and when you found it, it was whispering. Like, um, you guys could hear kind of like quiet voices constantly coming from it uh, when you, when uh, both, uh, Soul Rock the Seer touched it, and so did Spike. Um, Soul Rock got visions through it um, and saw a bunch of stuff that was hard to, to, to figure out. So did Spike, but then Spike also got addressed as Pretender. Um, and then to be honest, I don't think you ever did anything with it after that. I don't think um, we did. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, eventually the whispering kind of died down for you all, but now that Merrick is back and he's sober, the whispering is quite loud. Um, It is, like, a lot fucking louder than it was when you guys found it. Um, uh, Reginald Dobby has been also bitching about the noise. Like, he's been very bothered by it. He hasn't been bitching. He's been, like... How do you guys stand this? It's so loud in here. Um, he has not done any of the space drugs you guys have offered. Um, he's kind of weirded out by it. Um, but he's hearing how loud it is. Merrick is hearing how loud it is. Uh, but uh, So you guys are on your way to Morphus. Um, but yeah, it's just getting annoying. And... Um, Merrick, you actually take a minus one to your spirit from this. Oh, damn just it. because I, I mean, I you're... personally am taking a minus one right now after finding out I no longer have the jewel. <laughs> it's 
Um, the jewel, the jewel is probably, oh wait, was it in his head? It was in the back of my neck, like on the base of my neck Ooh. and, uh... Which is interesting, like that's neurally. where, that's where the clone Merrick's head exploded. He got shot, and then the back of his head exploded. Yeah, so... Um, he had to but be. yeah... So can we investigate like whatever with this? Yeah, uh, somebody can roll uh, to, um, to gain information. You're rolling plus wits. So whoever would like to investigate, uh, feel free. I shall roll. I am the detective. I will detect. Is. <laughs> Uh, one versus three and a six, so still a weak hit. Oh, still a weak hit. That's got on a weak hit. The information provides new insight, but also complicates your quest. Uh, you gain plus one momentum that brings you up to plus four. Ooh, and just to give a quick, where you guys are at? Uh, Jimmy Rings is down one health. He's got five spirit, though, and he's at plus six momentum. Yeah. That's right. Solroth the Seer is completely healthy, completely full spirit, uh, and is at plus ten momentum. He's got it maxed out, and he could even activate his super kinetic ability. Uh, Spike is healthy. But has but is at only plus four spirit and is at plus four momentum, and uh, Merrick the Unseen is currently at five momentum, has five health, four spirit, and yeah, your guys' supply is down to four. The ship integrity is at four due to some getting banged up in the last mission. Um, but yeah, so you guys, you realize, so you're investigating this and. Um, uh, the voices, you're, uh, ooh, you start piecing it together that it got louder. So, uh, uh, Reggie Dobby is like, it got a little louder once you guys broke out Merrick. Um, and what you're able to piece out is that the, the device you have is been kind of, the best way to put it is, it's been collecting the souls of the people you kill. And it's been, this is the reason why people were turning into Forge Spawn, is that when you killed them, you stole their their essence, and it reanimated their corpses. This has been, this has been the cause of that ever since. Um, okay. Uh, and the reason why... Nos wanted you to get it is because he knew that you find out that he he was using it this way the Legion couldn't suck his soul into them. Like, he knew that they were trying to do that to him. And this is like an anchor. So it kept him safe. It just happened to turn a lot of people into Forge Spawn. Like, um, yeah. How could it, but like, how could it keep him safe from the one of the people are turning into it. He was already dead. So he, he was attached to you. I see, I see. But, so what happened, this was his failsafe. If you were to die, you still, he wouldn't get sucked back into Legion. But, because they're actively trying. You guys realize that this device looks, you've, you've seen one just like it when you guys were checking out the Legion, the like, turn yourself into Legion facility. And you guys saw it and it, there was a part where it scanned the body, 3D printed a body, and then it vaporized the original. And this machine literally transferred the soul out of the person and put it into the clone. So what could we do with this? Uh, well, you could. Uh, well, if you broke it, it would release all the souls currently uh, connected to it. Would it then um, make a bunch of schizophrenic people? Uh, you're not sure what that would do. You're you you specifically do not know what would happen with that. It 
you do know that Legion is also actively trying to get the souls. So it might be that they get sucked up by them. It might be they just get released. You're you're not sure. Okay. So all the souls it, that have gone into this, Legion can't acquire, but their bodies have turned into the four spawn? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just silence to my idea. Uh, <laughs> so, I, I, yeah, both of y'all talked at the same time. I'm not sure what you say, Jose. Yeah. Um, I said, I said, can we just put them into soul gems and use them to power shit? <laughs> Do you have any like black soul gems or greater soul gems? Maybe grand ones. Luca, <laughs> there's a deposit box for like heaven, like to, take, to drop off the souls in heaven. So yeah, is there like a drop <laughs> box we can throw them in? <laughs> Make sure. <they> get... <laughs> so, at the idea of it being a power source, um, Freddie Gibbs is like. You know, I mean, it that is possible. It is storing a ton of energy, like a ton of energy. Sorry, go ahead, Jose. We're gonna have to like recharge power to the ship for a while. Jose wants to use the souls of the people he's killed to power shit. What a necromancy! Just saying, they're gonna be leaving from the exhaust pretty soon. You'll just hear screams from the exhaust of our ship as it goes by. <laughs> it's pretty fucking metal. It is pretty fucking metal. Like those fucking temples in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am. Um. Can Soul Rock? Ah! I I think you you feel the need to possibly talk to Nos about this. Right on. Yeah. About about what what might happen if you try to run your ship off of human souls. <laughs> <laughs> Do I really gotta ask about like I, I feel like I feel like I know. <laughs> Is that consent? Okay. If you know if you know then you don't have to ask. I'm just saying like you're you get a feeling like <laughs> Nos would have something to say about this. Um what he might say exactly, I yeah, if you know then you know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it feels like another, uh, like like a worse version of slavery, almost. You know. <laughs> you know what you should do. You should empath with the souls of the damned. <laughs> Could I try empath? You, you absolutely can try to commune with them. Yes. That'd you be a plus heart roll. A heart. I. It's a three versus a one and a four plus heart. Yes. Are we really considering this? He just did it. <laughs> he just did it. He did it successfully. <laughs> Always uh, successfully you... harness the energy of the souls of the dead. No, 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 not that part. He's <laughs> talking to them. I'm talking to them, Jose. Yeah. Ask them how they feel about it. They, they, as soon as you connect to it for the first time since you guys have like been dealing with it for a while it actually goes silent and they're focused on like, there's a weird feeling of thousands of people. Like think if you were on a stage uh, in front of a giant crowd, that is what just happened is, is they, you have their attention and yeah, you're able to able to speak to this crowd. What do you, what do you say? What do you, yeah. What do you say? Silence. I think Jose just left. Jose, you left. I'll go out now. <laughs> what to say to a crowd full of souls? Uh, these are the souls of people, many of which you, your crew, directly killed. Well, like, here's a your wall. There's a. <laughs> There's a space station that you guys blew up that had, you know, people on it. 
That was a thing that you guys did. You guys have also been in battle and wars. Um, like you've been in multiple big battles, and you're re- you're just by being there. Like the more you're, the longer you're connected, the more you like understand what's happening. Is these there's the souls of on both sides of the fight uh, uh, of every battle you've been in. Anyone who died is now in there. Um, there you get a feeling of them being scared. Uh, there's some anger um, on some, I mean, some people uh, feel like they just got murdered for no reason by monsters. Others, some of the, some of the soldiers are more magnanimous. They understand the idea that, yeah, they were there. They were killing people like, and there, some of this is people from both sides are now dead and here and if anything, that's that has actually helped some stuff because they're like, well, we're both dead. Like this, clearly, this fight wasn't good for. This was dumb. Um, mm. One of the things I've personally noticed from people I've known that have come back from from war is usually they're anti-war after that. They're usually like, yeah, fuck, that was terrible. Um, and these people that have died from it have a much even bigger perspective. They're like, yeah, that was. I mean, the people who are fighting for their own freedom, they're like, yeah, no, fuck you. And the others were like, yeah, that was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. But there's also some that are super pissed at you. So, You know what you should do? You should practice your stand-up set like D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Pukes on I'm stage. having some weird fucking deja vu. So you don't... You can also just disconnect and not say anything. Um... <laughs> But it's up to you. I'll just uh, say to anyone that doesn't know what's going on and that's scared, we'll try to help y'all out. And that's it. <laughs> you should review the four agreements with them. <laughs> Read off the Tibetan book for the dead. Well, something performative. <laughs> Jose has uh, returned it. Yay! If you do also, I will say as... Well, this is up to you. You maybe you know some, maybe you have some religious or some presence rights for for when people die. I mean, I don't. That's totally up to you. If that isn't a thing, I mean, yeah. you have proof that you can exist after death. So, I think uh, I think like Luke said, I read off like a passage in the Tibetan Book of the Dead about the experience of someone just after they die. And I try to sell them, like, be ready for when this happens. <laughs> for when your soul gets to travel. I, uh, you get uh, a... Go ahead. Sorry, Jose called me. Oh. Um, you good girl. You get, you get the distinct impression that there's, like, wait, we're, you are going to free us. Yeah. Yeah. That, right? that... There, uh, I think that alone, um quiets quiets the crowd like the the there was a tension to this like especially like right when you first connected and beforehand like they were they were the restless undead <laughs> like very very much exactly that and um there two things are happening right here one you've kind of made a, a an agreement with them that that you are going to free them um, and they're going to hold you to that. Soul but agreement. Fortunate. Fuck. Yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. But, um, but at the same time, you're going to get some leeway because they're, they're also dead, so their, their perception of what time is is very different. Uh, your, uh, your interactions with Nas have let you know that. I just thought of something, I just thought of something funny. <laughs> What's that? Like, I go in there, and like, they all know they're dead, and I'm like, all right, y'all, welcome to hell. I'd be like, no, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. More like purgatory. <laughs> purgatory. <laughs> so Can we get your there... magazine cup of tea while you wait. But yeah. Wait. Um. So another thing you guys now realize. So it's basically there's like a bubble around the ship. It extends a ways, and if someone passes. Uh, while they're inside that sphere, that's their soul gets trapped in this sphere. Um, but I also want to point out that there, there is like, we're talking maybe five, six 
7,000 individual kind of presences that live around your ship and have nothing better to do sometimes than just watch you guys. Like the whispering you hear that you ignore. Because that's the nice thing. It's like the um, the space weed gives you more control over how you... Your control over the presence. Like you get... It becomes not just a one-way street. You start being able to influence it. And the more stoned you are, the more you can like block that out. Um, but you're now realizing that they're like unseen around you are people that are, they get bored and they just watch you all the time. They watch everything. I mean, if you had nothing better to do and you were stuck around this crew, what would you do? (laughs) And we're talking thousands of people, some of which are fucked up individuals that were like, yeah, let's, let's, they were happy to go to war. Some of them were, you know, that didn't want to go to war. Some of them were just an entire station of people that, you know, there was other, yeah, all sorts of people. You know. There's probably some sick perverts in that group. There's probably some <laughs> sick fucking perverts in that group. You know, Adam, what'd you say about like, what'd you say at first about the, the orb or like something around our ship? It's basically there's, it extends uh, a ways. There, there is a, a yep. field that this that this uh, thing is emitting that is basically a soul net. Got you. Got uh, you. If you yeah, if you die inside of this, your soul doesn't get to go anywhere else. You're trapped inside here. Um, you are realizing that this tech. Ooh, another thing you guys realize because you did get. Um, some info on that on that role is you realize this is one of the this technology is one of the reasons why the vaults make it hard to use the presence that somehow tied in with that interesting i'm wondering there's nothing we could do with that it don't like like i'm not saying i kill one of us and then i should just goes there and then our soul can like you know travel through the vault and stuff but like something you're more of a meditative more, yeah. more of a meditative state, you know? <laughs> near death experience or something, you know, we just poison ourselves like I'm near death. <laughs> I mean it's a thing you could try if you wanted to do experience what it was like to be dead, you could try it. You might be able to come back. You might. Yeah, I mean, yeah, y'all at least have my spirit, so <laughs> I mean, yeah, like you, you guys hang out with the spirit on the regular, so. Probably a bunch of them. Yeah, I, I mean, you guys interact with one of them and like yeah. get high and all chat, <laughs> while the others, you're, you literally like it's because you're so connected with Nas that like he's able. I mean, people that have just been kind of high have been able to see him. I mean, he has a very strong connection with you. This is, these others are less you're you're less able like only when you're like focused on them are you able to like really start picking them apart um like you're definitely getting more broad strokes just because it's also a lot there's uh i mean it's a lot of people yeah um yeah so unless you guys want to do anything else you guys get to uh morpheus uh the planet um ooh. Uh when you guys get into the area, um you there's a bulletin uh that comes across uh basically for anybody base a bounty hunter reward um pops up and there is a an image of let's see, what was that name again? Mina Volkov. Call sign bingo. Um, uh, Mina is kind of, uh, kind of scruffy, kind of like out, uh, looks, looks like they're, they're used to doing some, some work, work with their hands, but are pretty good looking. They are, uh, being sought after by the silent, uh, collect, silent collective, uh, the people who run, basically they're the people that, that farm the drugs, out of um, 
the Boundless Shoal. Basically where you guys, where the planet with all the fungus was. Uh, it's in that system where basically all space drugs are grown. Um, and actually, to be honest, no one's totally sure why. it's They're really only found there, but that's um, pretty common knowledge. Um, but they are looking for uh, an assassin who, uh, when Spike sees this face when it comes up across the board... You get a very strong feeling of recollection and a pain in the in in your head. You get a bad, like a splitting headache for just um, maybe two three seconds, and then it p- passes. And that was for Mina. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Is she an assassin, huh? I sense that with Luke, and I'm like, you know, like eyebrow raise, like, like what's up? <laughs> so I. So I recognize her as an assassin. You just you you recognize her, and the the bounty is like being sought after. Uh, they're warning um, as a freelancer uh, mm-hmm. has been been hired as an assassin in multiple jobs. Like this person is a known killer. Like they're just like if you are going after this person. The bounty's quite high, but it's it's basically this this person kills people for a living. Like they might kill you first, so you know beware. Like we want to give you that info, but they are they are sought wanted alive. Um, does he know he well. knows her? <laughs> does what? Does like does Spike know he knows her, or he just like has that? Uh, you you just you're like I have seen that woman before and it's something from the past you don't remember but it's something important about why you don't remember. Do you know that person that person um actually um roll a gather information check for me. All right. 3 versus 6 and a 5. We can uh, set no, uh, oh yeah, six and a five. Yep, so you meet the six. Um, so you do, you have, if you try to think back on it, it's going to do you some physical pain, uh, which is going to uh, drop your spirit by two, but you can also roll to endure stress if you want, um, or you can not press. It's up to you. I'll try to endure stress. Okay, so you're gonna you're taking minus two spirit, which brings you down to plus two. Um, but when you endure stress, let me double check. Uh, recovery. So, uh, roll your do, spirit or heart, whichever is greater. Oh. Your heart is one, so your spirit, your plus two spirit is what you want to roll. Okay, so I got a three versus a five and a four. So that's a weak hit. You, you are not shaken. So if you want, you may lose um, one momentum to gain a spirit. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So you're at plus three momentum and plus three spirit. Um, and what happens? It so you, it still hurts. Uh, but you start piecing together your memories that, um, you were on a job to pick somebody up out of the boundless shoal and um you were on a job for mr e and um but your whole crew was actually on it you were just as you like push you start remembering that you were you've been the pilot on this ship you had a crew before um basically you were joint owners uh as as a lot of kind of like pirate and mercenary you've things work is that it's actually co-owned and whoever's in charge gets like a share and a half for being in charge but in general like but that can just switch like if the five people like if one of you were like yeah you're gonna be the captain the the rest of you could just decide yeah you're not the captain anymore at basically any time um uh but yeah so you guys you, you you had a crew and you were picking up Um, an individual who was trying to get to the bodega when you got 
your crew and you got killed by this person. Um, are you're you're pretty you're now piecing together that like you were killed by this person um, with a shot to the head, and you at some point later on you woke up uh, with a head wound that had healed, and uh, the rest of your crew were dead, and you. And then it gets fuzzy after that. Um, you know that at when you were killed, you did not have that fighter. You did not have the weeping some uh, weeping sleepwalker. <laughs> Yo, can y'all hear me? Yo. Yes. You guys can hear me? Yo. Yes. Fuck yeah. Okay. Tell me if you hear me after this. I'm you know, not hearing you now. What do you mean? All right, cool. I can I hear just you figured out my whole mic situation. My bad, y'all. Have you been silent you... for a while? Yeah, that's why I've been silent. I've been trying to figure out how the fuck to uh, turn my microphone on through my headphones on my laptop because my phone died. I had to run oh, Bluetooth shit. headphones. I was trying to connect that. And da, 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 da. But I got my Xbox headset on now. <laughs> Yo, it sounds crisp. Hell yeah. Well, yeah. So my Spike, yes. Sounds clean. Really? Yeah, right, Spike, you now remember how you gained um, ownership of the Nimbus. Damn. I scratched where I got shot in the head and it's like, well, that was weird. <laughs> well, I got the Wolverine Origins. So yeah, let's go you... slap this chick. I want to get some revenge. <laughs> I'll get her. Real quick. I'm all so. about revenge, especially since uh, you know I was been held captive and all that. You know, I got I got some uh, frustration to release. You can do that in the restroom, bro. Yeah, bro. You gotta oh. go. I mean, <laughs> careful though. <laughs> the ghosts are watching. The ghosts are always watching, y'all. There's, the there's only so much I can handle myself. You know, what I'm saying makes, that makes yeah. it better. <laughs> <laughs> Was well, he like now that he knows this? It's like kind of like yeah, it brings him some level of comfort or joy. Like, ha. <laughs> <laughs> they're like picking his nose. Like, yeah, watch this. <laughs> He's gonna be like, I'm gonna think of you next time my suit checks me off. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> my That's God, Lord, that a trap. My suit jacks me off. <laughs> it needs that post not clarity always. All the time. B- <laughs> BB has been uncomfortable by with when this happens. BB always <laughs> seems to leave your suit before it starts. BB, before you leave, run bust the net operations. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's the first line in the bust a nut is that it's like BB transfer to Nimbus. <laughs> Delete memory of last five seconds. Uh, on the fucking uh, the party, uh, the party feed. <laughs> uh, All right, I'm sorry, Adam. Go ahead, man. No, it's um. Well, yeah, that's you guys see the uh, you see the bounty. Um, it's for a lot of money. There's not a whole lot of leads at this point. Like, you're just like this is what they look like. Um was uh actually they actually i'm gonna say they even admit maybe this is part of what triggers that is that they admit the last job they were on was an assassination job and they never checked back in um so they would like them and like they they took something i mean it sounds like their job was like to reacquire an asset and they're like main Focus on job is retrieval of asset possessed by <laughs> Bingo. Um, yeah, uh, and, and they're because they if you kill this person, then they can't get what they want. Um, what it is they want, they don't directly say. So it's a live mission. Yes. After a live or retrieve the asset. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. All right. You kind of got this? Oh, also... Yeah, let's go after this, Jake. You're going to go? Okay. I'm saying, so your your options you guys have right now are you know about 
I'm just going to look. It's been a while since we ran down all of the stuff that's going on. Um, you guys currently have... Uh, you learned about oh. Legion has like 10 different server hubs inside vaults. Uh, you took out one of them. Uh, you know there are nine more of those. Um, you've recently learned that right about now... Uh, the drug flow out of the Boundless Shoal is turning off, and no one knows why. Um, uh, what else do you guys know? Um, oh, and then you guys you guys know about this bounty hunting thing, um, which I, I'm going to go, if you guys actually roll some more gather information, and I think you can use BB to do this, to help you, like, trudge, like, troll through the weave, you can maybe figure out if they've been sighted any time recently. Cool. Um, I already rolled, and I got a strong hit. I got cool. A um, three against a two and a one. Ooh, hell yeah. Um, so you guys are able to figure out that... Let's see. Um, so the last job they were on was in the Boundless Shoal. It was a long time ago, though. Like, at this point, it's been months and months since they disappeared. Um... Let's see. Um, and you do know uh, you have their last uh, sighted positioning, which is actually kind of right on the edge of uh, the Enlightened Worlds and the Promethean Empire uh, border. Um, it is called. Let me just generate that real quick. The Iron. The Iron Flow is the name of the sector. It's, like I said, it's it's in been kind of a disputed space. Uh, like, it's on the border between the Enlightened Worlds that have kind of established themselves and Promethea. So there's been some fighting out there, um, which is often a good place to hide. It is in a war zone because there's so many people dead. You can just possibly assume a new identity. You can throw a lot of stuff's happening over there. There's not really a government, like, when it's in flux. So, yeah, if you guys want to head that way, um, that's going to be a troublesome journey. Uh, so that'll be, um, you get three three boxes of the ten for every uh, hit you get. So someone's going to need to, uh, was it, start an expedition? Did we I don't pick remember up? the name. Well, what was that? Did we pick up long shot? Oh we... yeah, you guys pick up long shot. Uh, if you're, she's willing to travel with you, if that's okay, because she'd love to talk with you longer than just, uh, you know, a quick, a quick stop. Yeah, we're already being haunted by like the souls of thousands of the damned. So what's one more person? Yeah, I I think you guys somehow forget to mention that bit about the beings uh, haunted until she's on board and you guys are underway. And she's like, what is that noise? Like, oh, it's just the souls of the damned. They watch your every step. <laughs> uh, she laughs uncomfortably at first, uh, truly believing that's a joke. And then later on, she's, she's like, wait, what? And we're talking like hours later. It's like, so wait, back, back to the, um, you, you said there were the souls of the damned on here. Like, what do you mean by damned? And what, what, wait, what? So we got like this weird box that seems to collect souls of people that die around us. And a lot of people seem to die around us. Now uh, you got that right. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy rings, what? just kind of rubs the back of his neck and looks away. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you guys saved my life. That's something. I appreciate that. Yeah, every yeah, so often I like to say also. Otherwise, you'd be stuck in there. So you're close. <laughs> yeah. Don't die. Um, yeah, don't die. <laughs> I, I hope not to. That sounds terrible. Um, <laughs> so go ahead, and whoever's uh, going to undertake a journey... Uh, you've got the options. You can go at speed, and that's plus edge. You can keep it under the radar, roll plus shadow, or stay vigilant, roll plus wits. So we're traveling into 
the shoal, right? That like war zone, but it's also like what produces drugs and we're looking for the assassin lady that killed me. No, so the uh if you guys are going after the assassin, you're going to the Iron Flow. Okay. Which is near Promethea and it's in a war zone. Oh, okay. Um the that. the drug planet is in the heart kind of in the it's not that far from Morphus actually. It's pretty close. Um that's where all the drugs are made and literally no one's heard anything out of that for well, you're not I mean you know that the drugs have are stopping flowing like right around now. You're not but you don't know why and starting now Sounds like nobody gets word in and out of there. Word. Interesting. But well, you're you're basically they're they're opposite directions. Okay. One's one's a short hop. The others, again, uh, the others, uh, just three jumps. So. Which one's the short hop? Drugs. The drug planet. Maybe we should investigate that first. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm afraid that that's gonna. We're going to show up thinking there's nothing, and then it's going to turn out to be a big uh, event that takes a lot of time, and we miss your, your initial yeah. person. Um, that That is the thing. It is the your last your last thing. It You are likely to lose them if you do not hurry. Okay. Let's go after her. All right. Well, let's go with speed, then, if time is up. Cool. Plus edge. We're going after her, right? Yep. Cool. Yep. With the pace. With a strap. Jose. Or right. Jimmy Let's Rings. Go. Be ready. Be ready. You might have What's to be up? launched out of. What's your knife? Non lethals. Non lethals. So is that the club? You got a baby Yoda somewhere. <laughs> the stun baton, please. Reinforced. Bash it against their heads, though. I just I got a sack of rocks. <laughs> In your hands, that's still deadly. Was that like a freaking sock of sock of soap? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. more like <laughs> a sock of oranges or something. All right. So, um, who's rolling for edge? I just rolled. Oh, I have really? plus two edge, right? Yes. How much edge do I have? Three, probably. No. Two. I think Ooh. we all have two. Yeah. No, Carlos has one. Except Ooh. Carlos. Everybody Slowly. else has two? Everyone else has two. Okay. Yeah. So I got a three versus a one and an eight. Yikes. All right, that is a weak hit. Um uh you got well you guys are trying to travel quickly, but also you don't want I mean you're starting to get into a war zone. Um so we're just gonna do you you make it, you just suffer costs, you're gonna lose Two supply, which puts you down to two. Nope. Two supply? Yeah. So your your supply is down to two. All right. Um, but you did, but you make it to the first the first leg of the journey, and it's fine. Um, basically, you're orbiting. Let's, let's... Whoa. Let's see what you see. You good? Oh, was that me making noise? My bad. I thought oh. I muted my. You guys pop out on at a debris field. It's a looks like mechanical wreckage. Um, it's it's the remnants of a recent battle, but it's it's over. Nothing's here but destroyed ships. Um, okay. And basically, you guys just stop because uh, eventually you need to sleep because you're the only one that can currently pilot the. Uh, the Nimbus through hyperspace. Um, and eventually, yeah, you just have to stop and rest. And and you guys also, you've got the big battery installed, but it's not completely charged, but you guys are charging it up. Um, and then in the next morning, unless you guys want to check out the wreckage, um, you can do the next jump. All right. Do we want to investigate or just move on, folks? Hmm. You said our, was our supply full? No, we're down to two. No, your supply is down to two. So maybe let's investigate scavenge for supplies. Can we have BB send a probe in there and just see if it's worth fucking with? 
I mean, these are... Uh, you can do a gather information using BB for help. So it'll be a plus wits roll and then a plus one from BB. Uh, Luke, roll it up. Actually, Luke can't. He's got a, a, a spike has to go to sleep. That's why you're stopping right now. Like you guys have enough E drive charge. It's spike's been flying for like 12 fucking hours straight. And you like, he's like, I don't want it. Ah, go to bed. Fuck off. You got any space coke, Carlos? Sword luck? <laughs> Girl, didn't was supposed to come in, and I don't know why the drugs just stopped. Sorry, uh, up is muted. I got a weak hit. Five oh, on the... versus a three and an eight for gather information with BB. Plus the Dang. one from him with my two. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, I matched with the highest number, so it's still a weak hit. I do have some space Adderall, though. If you want to we'll push yourself, you can. Next time. You absolutely can. Uh, but on that on that weak hit, yeah, it uh, it will take you. It'll be a little dangerous trying to do um, some some resupply. But you could. There's totally some shit out there. There's some ships that are uh, fairly intact. You would just have to navigate through the debris to get there, oh, uh, which Jimmy Jimmy Rings could actually do it in his jetpack. He'd oh, just nice. be limited on what he could bring back. All right. So hell yeah. Uh, what about um, if we take one of the little snub fighters in person mode? You could also do that. Could we also? Uh, could I take the skiff? The skiff is for planet side missions. Oh. It's it's yeah. It's like trying to take a skateboard out into space. It's not going to help you, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I guess I'll, I'll help him out with uh, one of the ships turned into a mech form. Cool, yeah. Um, so if you guys are in in not the Nimbus, it is way easier to get through. You don't have to roll to navigate um, to get to the to get to spots uh, just go ahead and roll to resupply which let's see what is that one i think it's plus wits again though there's so many wits rolls okay uh, oh nice oh nice what? let's go i got a six against a two and a five nice. a strong hit on the resupply yeah you guys um you you find it that on a strong hit you get plus two moment uh two plus two supply, which brings you back up to four. Um, Let's see. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, you guys find um a ooh you guys basically find um some some like stuff that's basically like in a soup it supercharges your e drive for a while, um and yeah so and. Also, you find some more space Adderall. Uh, <laughs> if you if you want it, if you want it, it is. Jimmy nice. Rings shoves it in his pack. But it's, the space Adderall is is actually the soy sauce. It's the shit that makes the adepts uh, be able to pilot through. So if you took this, oh. you could also probably pilot uh, the Nimbus in hyperspace. <clears throat> but otherwise, I'm not letting Jimmy yeah. Rings near the controls. <laughs> is that but it like this this shit is the weird shit is it's like a black kind of a tar and it moves on its own oh yeah, yeah, yeah. i remember this thing. yeah yeah it's the shit that turns your eyes black in black so um just so you know but it is it is fucking scary very powerful should hold on to that maybe sell it yeah it's super. It the Scott there. You you're finding out that right now the supply of that's just cutting off, and that gets really really valuable. We could do some insider trading, guys. We have knowledge of the future. We've got this product. Manipulate some economic systems. Well, yeah. So you guys, um, you successfully resupply. You find you find that's that's the that's the with the strong hit is you get that nice. Sweet space Adderall <laughs> or soy sauce, and uh, you're able to go on the next leg of the journey. All right, I'll roll it up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's a one versus a nine and a seven. Oh, on a miss, you are waylaid by a cross crisis. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna roll the pay the price. 
It is a war zone. So. Pay the price. It is that. Pay the price. Pay the price. <laughs> oh, your vehicle suffers damage. So, yeah, I think you guys pop out of the next spot, and you're immediately in the middle of some war shit between um, the the Enlightened Worlds and Legion. Um to be honest, Spike, you are tired. That's part of part of uh, why you guys stopped uh, so quickly. Is you're just and you are in the thickest shit. Um, and he's guys, tired. You you have the option to try to run away, or you're entering the fray. Um. Well, I want to since I'm tired, I want to get the Nimbus away from the worst of the combat. But while I do that, you guys are all fresh and get in your little fighters and go protect us. And distract. Us. Who's so fighting? We're going to have to get in the snuff fighters and distract. Or if you want to get on the turrets. No, I mean, who's, the, who's warring? It's uh, uh, the Enlightened Worlds, probably also a little bit of Mormon forces versus Legion. So it's... Uh, we, which we, is we, Promethea and... And Covenant. We're, with the, we're with the Mormons, right? Yeah, You're with we, the Mormons and the Enlightened Worlds forces. now. And have common enemy with the Mormons. I wouldn't say we're with them. We're just favored by them at this at this point, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, oh. Beef. And they've got. And beef. Mongoose is on is on the ship with you guys, along with um, oh, Freddie right. Gibbs. I guess we could he's, probably he's try to go. Yeah. Oh, is there any way we can defuse this peacefully, or no? Do we have any sway with any of them? Well, it's Legion. I could kill them all. Legion. Le- Legion is invading the Enlightened World space. They're trying to take over the system. Oh, we're not uh, with the Legion. No, yeah, you guys have been oh, fighting well, against on, the go. Legion. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Sorry, I was confused for a second. Never mind. Yeah, you guys get in your little snuff fighters. I'm going to get the Nimbus out of the fray. Yeah, get, get yourself one of them, uh, something that blocks the sleepiness. Take some caffeine. <laughs> I'm going go to go park the ship behind a moon and take a nap while you guys fight. <laughs> uh yeah go ahead and face danger plus shadow oh me for you is plus no no this is this is uh spike oh. spike's gonna take the ship oh, to yeah, go yes, high I, I have to enter the fray yes a three versus a one and an eight all right you um the ship takes a uh at some point, you guys do get caught, just in like the middle of your sleeping, you guys do get caught for a little bit, and you've got to wake up, move the ship, um, and uh, the ship takes one damage, dropping it to plus three, but you can withstand damage if you want. I'll withstand some damage. Cool. What's your momentum like before you do that? <laughs> His is at plus three. Shit. So yeah, the, do what you think you bet. Do what you think is best. Does my damage? Go my ahead. Face help with um withstanding damage. Oh shit! Where is that? Where is that? When you face danger or react. Ooh. Oh wait, that well you you got a plus one on that roll. Um. So technically, oh, so your momentum actually just went up to plus four. Oh dope. Um, but let's see, oh, your ace, when you gain ground, no. Okay. Your ace ability does not help here. Okay. I guess, it, wait, are you more reacting under fire? Yes. Uh, no, no, because you were just trying to hide. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it so, was, yeah. With the numbers anyway, it made much of a difference. Yeah, so, but it's a roll with a plus three. A four versus a three and a six. That is a weak hit. Your vehicle is not battered. You may exchange one momentum for that integrity. Did you say I had a plus three? You now have a plus four. Oh, my momentum was a plus four. Okay. Yes. Not on the roll. Okay. Oh, no. Sorry, man. Oh, no. You're good. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take the hit and um, get the plus one of the ship back. Yeah, so you're only so it's at plus four. It's taken very little damage. Um, yeah. Uh, 
So let's jump back to while while you're sleeping. Uh, we've got Merrick's jumping in a ship. He's gonna go face danger. You are um, you're entering the fray. And it sounds like you're gonna jump into the thick of it, or are you? Or how how is it you want to approach this battle? Because you guys, the ship is going back behind a moon, so you guys are going to be like be out of sight when you guys launch. Okay. Um, then I don't want to just come out guns blazing. I am a shadow person. I'm mm-hmm. going to go in stealth-like and get me a optimal position to at least do some serious, if not considerable, damage. Cool. Um, so if you... Uh... You are entering the fray uh, while in, like, silent running, or mm-hmm. you're trying to avoid detection. You can add plus one, and um, you get to... Oh, when if you enter the fray by ambushing an, an unaware foe, add plus one. Nice. All right. So you're getting plus two on this. Nice. To your shadow roll. Plus two on top of my three shadow? Uh-huh. Okay, so five? Five total. Shit, yeah, baby, let's go. Uh, I'm good because I need it. <laughs> uh, a three versus a three and a seven, so that's eight. Bam! Strong hit, nice, that baby. Is, let's that go. Is, that is you. So on that, since you, with a strong hit, you get to take both. You just gained two momentum, and you are in control. Hell yeah, baby. Uh, so that brings your momentum up five. to plus seven. Um. So yeah, you you launch into into battle. You I mean, you got to remember you're you're in this fighter and it you as soon as you get in it, you launch you're like going quiet. Your ship turns invisible because it's the Wait, and did did you roll a 1 on that or what what was your dice roll? It was a my dice was a 3 versus three. versus okay. a challenging 3 and a 7. Cool. Okay, so it wasn't a one, a five, or a six. No. So, um, but yeah, no, it turns invisible, and you're able to come out when you, uh, you are just, is he going alone? Is anyone else joining him in this? Yeah, I'll join. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll, enter the fray. Can I, can I go too? Yeah. Whoa. Looks like you can't go unless you take Jimmy Rings. <laughs> Right. I got a two versus a one and a five. And how are you coming at this? Um, are you real quick? Are Adam, you just hold on? I'm sorry. Can you give me a rundown of what I'm looking at right now, as far oh. as enemies goes? Sure. Oh, okay. So you've you've got this is um kind of a uh think a bit of a Star Wars battle. You have like three larger um. Uh, I'm trying to think. Of what was, I can't think of the name of the like the aircraft carriers, but they're they're carriers. That's the name of it. Like the they're like bigger ships. Uh, they are meant to hold a whole bunch of small fighters, like you're flying. Um, but your yours is flat out better. Um, but there's like three of them on the enlightened world side. They are definitely not the nicest ships in the world. Ooh, except for one of the larger ships is a Mormon ship and they are from uh they're they're classic ships. They're actually from the before the Exodus, which is like the best kind of ships that are around cuz they prize those above everything. They are one of those is a badass ship with a bunch of badass fighters. Um and then against them is like six smaller uh carriers on the legion side that are just launching a ton of shit over there though um it's fairly even in in terms of numbers of fighters though um like the not numbers of fighters like the the way for every enlightened world trooper that goes down they're taking like three of the legion but the legion outnumbers them like three to one so Okay. Yeah. So even fight, um, you've got you guys just went behind. So yeah. you are around a vital world uh, that has a moon. 
Uh, so this is this is why they're fighting here is because there's people that live on this planet. It's like very habitable, um, and you're uh, basically you guys have parked yourselves uh, behind a moon so that you are so that you are out of sensor range of the battle. Uh, the only thing that might happen is like what happened with uh, the Nimbus in the middle of this fight is some fighters might come back here to like you know they might get chased. Um, but yeah. Think we come out in like some kind of formation. Am I just in my suit or am I in a snow? Oh, invisibly. Actually, if you guys want, you 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 could ride behind. Merrick could cloak you all. Fuck yes. And you could all use his role if you want. Yeah, yeah. taking taking yeah. that cool. Both mode. Yeah. Do I have to roll. I'm, no, no, I'm going to just say, like, they don't get the plus two momentum, but they're all in control. Okay. Because you guys, you bring them all in on that stealth. Um, so do I lose my plus two, or, or they just don't no, get no, it? No, 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 you're keeping the plus two, they're just not getting it. Okay. You're you're doing all the work. Um, cool. So, yeah, you're leading them in, you guys, which, which is really good, because they can, like, literally, you guys have to be kind of synced up, because you can't... Literally, you can't see the other ships. You just know because you have this, like, super uh, powerful ascendancy technology that's, like, letting you know, like, okay, cool. I can – there's, like, a uh, – it is invisible to the naked eye. You just get to see, like, an, an overhead display where it just outlines where the ships are, but no one can see them. Uh, so if you guys want um, – like I said, there are six. Uh, they're not as big of carriers as um, as as the as your troops do, but they've got a lot of fighters out. Uh, but you guys can go after the fighters, or you can go after their ca their carriers. Carriers, carriers. You, we want to do damage. Finding the fighters ain't gonna do nothing. Cool. Just um, damage us and waste our resources. So then go ahead and roll strike. Um, <laughs> And I, I'm going to say you guys are actually ambushing. Yes. Uh, so let's see. What about my, uh, what is it? No, I guess not. Oh. I was going to say infiltrator or scoundrel. Well, well, do I have those since the copy got those? No, you, you have them. Okay. You have them. Do you, so what I was trying to do was you were being, you were trying to escape and you were honing your skills, but at the same time, they were scanning you. Okay. That's why your clone was getting updates. Oh, you, so he was learning everything work. I learned. Yes. Ah, that yeah. makes sense. Except all the physical alterations yeah. he got, I won't get. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I just have to redo those. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, so there is a thing on Stealth Tech. It's, a, it's another, it's a thing you haven't bought yet. Where where you could use uh, shadow to strike from, so as it is, Ooh, how many you, points do I have, and how much does it cost? <laughs> you don't have enough because it costs two, and I think you only have one. Damn, but okay. I'm not sure. Unless, well, actually, let's see. Let me actually check the. You only have one sitting. You only have one. It costs two. Okay. Um. But yeah. So, uh, are you guys coming in to? A strike from close quarters, or are you firing at a distance with your ships? Are you staying back? Is it edge or iron? Um, I guess the closer we are, the more for sure we're going to have a direct hit on something critical than compared to long range to where they have chance to evade it. What do y'all cool. do? <laughs> we're going for the big ships, right? Yeah, we're going for the carriers. So, like, the little ships are still going to be out there, so they're, they will be a threat. Take out the cannon. Gonna... That takes out the power. Yeah, we got to do like a, our first yeah, initial and strike, and the, then take out the engines. Yeah, for sure. At the very least, so they can't follow us if we have to dip. They'll, they'll basically lose all power to the ship. Yep, can't maneuver. That's Ooh, enough. Can't <laughs> maneuver. That's a good one too. Yeah, we could also just dip and then come back, do little strafing runs. Well, yeah, straight up, we take out the big engines, we take out the big ships, and then we go after the fighters, I'm thinking. Okay. Some of them might come after us, but you know. Yeah. We're, that's why we pull them away. Just yeah. open the launch bay door, and I'll fly out the back of it. Yikes. As they chase us. Yeah. <laughs> we, well, so we want to do that when we want to infiltrate. 
I'm gonna start picturing these fighters as the Naboo Starfighter. Yeah, what are, okay. what do these fighters look like? Do they look like uh like the pirate ship that like I single ship last time? Like yeah, the I don't razor see the, yeah, yeah. Whoa, you're all t um so I think <laughs> I think the uh <laughs> I'm sure this is gonna sound great in the audio recording, man. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Some good conversation I... right here. It's always sunny D and D podcast. Just us talking over each other. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so on the on the United World side, the the ships look really janky. They they are strong ships, but they're not pretty looking. They just do the job. The Mormon ships totally look like the Naboo fighters because they are. Classic shit from pre-Exodus. They are the primo shit that's like never been reproduced here in the Forge because they just lost the knowledge. So what happens when you bring just a bunch of religious nuts to a new place? You lose a lot of like smart tech people. Um, me, bro. Uh, and then on the other side, the the Covenant and Legion forces. Um, they are much smaller ships than uh, what than what you're used to, and actually, Jimmy Rings will recognize this because he used to fly one of these. These are actually, um, well, except they've been updated. They're resorting to using the early in the process the um, accelerated child soldiers. Ooh. These guys are intellectually, they've got to be at least like 10, 12, but they're still in the bodies of like two year olds, toddlers. Yes. And the ships, the ships look like it. They look like they're, they're toddler size fighters. <laughs> wow. So they're just small fighter ships. Yep. Very agile. Not a lot of, they don't have strong weaponry though. How big and this is one ship. of the reasons why they're getting slaughtered. Our ships in like mech form, like human form, like what's what's the scale between yeah, ours and theirs? The the big ships and the small ships. Oh, you would it would be like picking up your ship to their ship would be like picking up a toddler. It really would be the scale is that different. It's like, oh wow! It's Still fighter. There? Oh. So they're like regular people size, right? Yeah, but I'm thinking about like oh, we're huge. Yeah, like they're... yeah, the yeah, yeah the fighters are actually probably yeah like the size of seven a foot person, people. maybe a little bigger. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and what, what are we like? Yeah, like, 10, awesome. like fifteen feet type deal, twenty feet. I I'd, I'd say twenty. Yeah. 20. Okay. Like, kind of bad. Yeah, because like four toddlers yes. in a trench coat could get a movie ticket, so that makes sense. <laughs> Are you talking about? <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're talking. Um, they're they're bigger. They're a little bit bigger than Cowboy Bebop ships. Your guys's. Um, they're nice. a little meatier. Bet. Jose Ram, you guys haven't watched Cowboy Bebop, have you? I have. What do you mean? I'm the anime guy right here. He is Good. the anime guy. I've seen a bit of it, but. I don't. I'm not hearing the oh. reference. I'm a Spike ship. That's. Are you talking about uh, will watch Swordfish Two? What? Our next. Trip. I just said the sword. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, do it. Do it. Day, uh, we'll watch Cowboy Bebop. Bet. I. Nerds. I just bought that soundtrack on vinyl. It's That's so... how much of a nerd I oh, am. Oh, dude, I've been trying to get that, but that shit's kind of expensive. Dude, I the soundtrack's it, legit. The it's soundtrack. So, good. Oh, it's so fucking good. It's, it's been so in my. Good. It's been in my Amazon car for like years. Ah. <laughs> uh, that fucking bass. Dun, 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 Oh, so good. Just yeah, tank, tank is so good. Um, yeah, it was, I saw it, at, saw it at the shop and was like, I, I'm almost out of all my fun money. This will literally take everything? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, having it on vinyl is just badass. Yeah, bro, I gotta look for that. I got it at Walmart. <laughs> Man, Target got that shit sometimes. I walk into Target and they got like the new Kendrick. They got the old school Beatles vinyls. Yeah, they had the Mandalorian season one and two out uh, vinyls. Yep, saw that. 
be like that. What did you just send us, Luke? Oh, just um, fuel for the imagination. Just some different fighter things. Okay, so like I'm just thinking, like as hum as the humanoid forms, could we like grab the starships and like smack them into each other, or like is that? Yes. Too- no, you could absolutely do that. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys could actually float. You you are nowhere near as agile in your robot forms, but you can fly around like that too. All right, so some kind of sneak attack to get through the most damage, which I'll think. Um, do you have an, any kind of a like EMP rifle type deal, Adam, in my sec? <laughs> Dude, you got whatever you want. Right. That's that's the that's the thing about weapons master is you've, uh, you, you are a walk. So wait, are you? It's, not, it's like a cartoon, man. Like you're just reaching behind you and you're pulling out whatever you need. You know, like yeah. think yeah. like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Thank you. That is a much better way to do it. You also, Um, as a person now, you know how to focus uh, fire energy that that you could probably use as like a a personal EMP. Incorporate that into your weaponry. Like the ancient Jedi did with their lightsabers. They plug that shit into their like fighter ships and it would Fire off plasma. Damn. Well, can I do that? I it's just gonna make this a lot easier. They won't die. They'll fly off into the infinite abyss. Win win. Uh, laser ship. It's pretty yeah. much like what I'm thinking. Yeah. Three around the stores, yeah. Uh, you are at, so. Yeah, you can if you want to take an attack. Um, you will add boop, 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 plus two, uh, to your, so I'm going to say like, you've, you've never got to use this before. So I'm going to put you at plus five fire. So you've, you're, you're at max fire. Every time you use it, you, uh, subtract one fire and you add plus two to the roll. Every time I use the EMP thing. Anytime you use your fire ability at all. So you, you've ship. got a reservoir. I'm just saying you can use this fire to do this EMP attack. Uh oh, the fire from the fire I... brand ability. Yeah, I ended up getting that right. This yeah. is the first time you're using it. So yeah. you got five of them, and uh. you can use one to add a plus two to your roll for an attack. Yep, and oh. it'll this. Uh, so I'm saying, so yeah, when you go to attack with this, you'll add a plus two on top of whatever other stat you're using. And yeah, so that that that's what we're doing here. All right, well, uh, all right. Can so I yeah, if you it? want to break off and start going after the fighters and use your EMP, go right ahead. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can I roll? I'm a. Tri- this is like a two move deal. Can I do something like that? What do you? I don't know if it'll work, but what do you mean two move deal? Go ahead. Like, and just try uh, it. all right. I want to like try to get them. Kind of either like they're following me or like I can get them in, in a group and then I'm going to fire off into that, that group. Oh, sure. Um, So we'll do that in two actions. Okay. Uh, you'll first we'll do a gain grab. So you're going to fly off and you're going to try to attract them. You are in control. Uh, you're yeah, you are in control. Uh, so you're preparing an ambush. So you're going to roll plus shadow. All you right. That's only plus one, but you've got plus two. Uh, yeah, you're doing just plus one to this one. All right, let me, let me go. Uh, uh, a two versus a one and a nine. Yikes. We can't, that's, that is a, (laughs) no, you get to, you get to pick what, what you're doing here. You can either, we can either mark progress on the, basically I'm filling up a thing to see how much when you guys defeat them. Either you can mark progress towards defeating the enemy, you can either take plus two momentum, or you can take plus one on your next move when you go to do the ambush. Either way, you are still in control. Let me do plus two momentum, which will put me at seven or six. Eight. Oh, fuck. Okay, nice. Yeah. All right. So you're line. You've you've definitely attracted their attention. You're still in control. Okay. You're about to line up your shot. We flip back to um, Ram and, and Carlos. What are you guys doing? 
All right, so Jose's going after the the star, the, the snuff fighters. Yeah, he's going after the little kids that he used to be. <laughs> Yikes! Yikes! <laughs> Hell yeah. But he's not killing him. He's doing a stun weapon. I'm surprised by that. Like, what? <laughs> a chance to, like, murder a bunch of people. And... I mean, did you hear his follow-up, though? They're just going to float off into the void and die. <laughs> there, yeah. there is that. Yeah, I'm mean, directly killing them, but not personally doing it. Uh, My opinion, it's gangster. <laughs> it's progress, I guess. <laughs> So who's who's next though? Is it uh, Soul Rock or Merrick? It's probably no, Loop, unless it was then it was me. I'm taking Luke. it out. Okay, yeah. so then it's back to me. All right, what did I do last round? Oh, I got I lined up. What did I do last round? Sounds like you guys. Uh, this is our first actual attack. So you guys have entered the fray. You're you have stealthed you and um, everybody. Uh, okay, Carlos so that's basically what I did. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so you're 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 getting to you can do an attack if you want, or you can try to gain ground if you want to position yourself for a for an ambush. I'm gonna gain ground to position for an ambush because I want to do a, a critical strike. Cool. All right, here I go. And so yeah, roll. plus shadow. Oh, okay, good. Oh, oh damn. Uh, five versus uh. Oh what? shit. A uh, t- double nine. Fuck. Uh, yes. A five. Versus a double uh, nine. Plus the shadow is eight. Oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> boop, boop. And I don't have enough momentum, do I? I don't Hold think I do. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, Your momentum is at plus seven, so no. Nope. Uh, let's see. Stealth. Will you make a move against... Damn, that's still... Yeah, you, um... Oh, shit. I know what happens. You are... You're invisible. You guys are heading back towards the engines, like like, like you were saying you were going to, as one of the bay doors opens and launches fighters right next to you. They don't see you, because you're invisible. And you guys get, like knocked by some uh by some ships you just get impacted and both of your snub fighters take well i we'll just have we'll we'll have uh carlos roll separate we'll just have you you are taking minus two to your snub fighter which drops you from four to two but you can withstand damage i'm withstanding all righty um just double check what that is your integrity or just integrity. Yep. Um, so, yep. Yeah, roll plus two. Plus two? Yeah. Oh, I didn't beat you home. <laughs> All right. So, it's a five versus an eight and a four. That's a weak hit. On a weak hit, uh, you may lose one momentum for one integrity. I'll do it. All right, so that puts you at plus three. Do I lose my control? On a weak hit? No. A weak hit with a pair. Oh, no. Oh, no. The, oh, I'm oh, sorry. No, the no. miss. The miss. The uh, no, miss. not this you one. Do... The, the first one. The, yeah, the first, first one was a miss. Your foe gives you upper hand. Uh, you're in a bad spot now. Yeah, you've lost control. I mean... To be honest, yeah, a bunch of little fighters just came and, and whacked me. Screwed up your shit. Yeah. <laughs> I lost, uh, I lost so, grounding. Yeah. So this is uh so Soul Rock, you're you're behind you're behind Merrick. When he gets battered by these ships, um you are in control. Uh you can continue on to a target. Uh what would you like to do? You are in control. Am I still invisible? You're about to lose invisibility <laughs> in in the next few seconds. So you've got a second of, of your still stealth. Okay. So 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 I just want to clarify. How big am I compared to like the Starfighter, the one that's launching the ships? Oh, uh <laughs> the carrier the 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 carrier, you think um literally uh 
uh, episode one, uh, Anakin in the Starfighter and the big launch bay. Like it's mm. it's that it's a big ship. Yeah. Okay. So, but compared to the snow fighters, the other snow fighters like relative, just a little bigger. You are you are like the size of a if when you're if if you were in robot form, you could pick up one of these fighters and be like a large model in your hands. It would look like a toy. Okay, dope. So yeah, they are they are small. They are, they are fast and agile. Ambush attack. It's like I'm, I'm I like since they're passing around us, I try to grab one and throw it at another one. Or throw Sounds it. good. Yeah. That is plus iron. Ooh, is Jose uh, behind yeah. us? In this formation Jose, right now. He is off in the fray in the middle of the fighters. He's he's gathering. Oh, that's right. Now. He's doing something. That's right. Never mind. Never mind. I was yeah. gonna say he should enter in in the the bay that just opened for us. Oh, but wait, we want to disable the ship. Never mind. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Yeah. So you are striking. It sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. We're just um, we're so you're to rolling disable plus it. iron versus these iron. guys. What's my iron? Plus two. Dope. So three versus a uh, six and a, sorry, a nine and a seven. Oh, so that is another, I so I think you're, you're coming in and you start trying to like take some of these out, but they just keep coming out and you also get battered by just more of them because they don't see you. You're both <sighs> invisible. You we... also take it... minus two to your snub fighter to bring you down to plus two. You can also withstand damage if you want. Mm. Hold on. I'm trying to load the acid sheet. So, wait, what was that? I'm trying to load the acid sheet, but... Oh, acid sheet. Yeah. So can you tell me what I got? You have... Oh, good, right? <laughs> you've got kinetic, where you can, uh, when you're... Mo you've got all the abilities where you can, like, when your momentum is at max, you may attempt great kinetic feats such as manipulating large objects and creating destructive bursts of concussive force. To do so, reset momentum. Then you make a single move powered by, fueled by your powers and take an automatic strong hit. If you are in a fight, mark progress. Uh, you've got your Empath, Haunted, your Banshee, who's not with you currently. Ah, maybe your Banshee could be in your ship with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it would help, though, if it starts screaming inside your cockpit. <laughs> All right, I'll save kinetic for when I need it for sure. Cool. Yeah, I guess I um, do. Okay. So it's plus two for your integrity to roll to withstand damage. Lost control. Yo, I got a six versus a five and a one. Nice. That is a strong hit. You can either uh, your your vehicle. You take less damage, and so you only you gain plus one integrity. In, yeah, integrity, or you can write it out and gain plus one momentum. Uh, yeah, I'll take the integrity. Cool. So you are at plus three as well. Integrity. Um, now we jump back to Jimmy Rings, who's lining up a shot where he's brought all these people together. Um, and you can go ahead and uh, do your. Uh, it sounds like you're doing this in close combat. That way, you can get as many as possible with your stun attack. Um, and you can go ahead and use your firepower to get plus two to that. So to give you a plus five total, we are not hearing you, Jose, if you are with us. Hello? I Hello? hear you. I hear you okay. now. All right. Am I going? Yeah. Um, right. you no. Know, so, so you've got the shot lined up. You've got plus five to this roll. You've oh, got your... Shit. your Energy all charged up. Okay, okay. All right, let me roll for it. Plus five, right? Plus five. I got a. <laughs> I got a two versus eight and a six. <laughs> oh. Yeah. A two versus eight and a six. We kit. Yeah. Still we kit. Fuck. Uh, it's okay. That's... Somebody's gonna yeah. die. Uh, and let's see. 
Okay, just gets a plus two. We hit. Um, boom. You oh. still take out a bunch. Oh, I think what happens is you you discharge this and you take out a bunch of fighters, but it like nice. your ship turns off. Like it, you released all this energy and now it's got to reboot up. So you are in a bad spot because your ah, look, your engine just turned you off. You steal wool and a fucking one of those double batteries. Sorry, go ahead. I was looking at this book. Hello. But yeah, you are you 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 make the shot off. Uh, it fries a bunch of ships, uh, but it is such a powerful burst of energy that the ship turns off for a second and is rebooting right now. So you're still gliding through space, but your engine is not powered back on. So you're in a bad spot for now. As we jump back to Merrick the Unseen, all right, who's all right. still being battered by the ships, you're in a bad spot. Um, since you're in a bad spot, you could either clash against these fighters, or you could react under fire to like get out of the way, or any other kind of thing you'd like to do. What would you like to do? Well, I want to get out of being battered, so react under fire to get out of that position and probably get in a better one. Cool. So that sounds like uh, you're dodging or uh, getting back into position, so that'll be plus edge. Oh, yikes. We only got, what, two of that? Yeah. Three versus a two and a one. Oh, nice. God bless. Boom! That is a strong hit. Uh, you are back in control. You gain a momentum. Um, and now that you're in control, what would you like? So you, so yeah, you pull yourself out of that position. Oh, you're up to seven momentum now. Um, yeah, you're able to get yourself out of this shit. Um, they still don't see you because you're cloaked. What would you like to do? Hmm. What's Carlos doing right now? Uh, he he just he's still also facing the oncoming uh fighters that like you ran that ran into you as well. Like okay. uh, closing the position, if you were trying to do something. You could help him if you wanted. Yeah, I might have to help him because I don't want to leave him alone, and I'm I'm gonna need his com combined power so he can do some serious damage as well. So yeah, I'm a uh, uh, assist assist uh, ally. Cool. Uh, and let's do. Hmm. Let's see what is it? Come on. Uh, it sounds like you're trying to be quick about like you're you're trying to like grab him out of the way maybe, which mm -hmm. will give you that plus two edge. Um. So yeah, go do a plus two edge roll. Plus two. <clears throat> Yikes, it's spinning. Oh, no! <laughs> it's a 2 versus a 10 and an 8. Oh! <laughs> I should have left him for dead. He would have been better. <laughs> he would have been better off. I I think what happens is you, you actually grab him... And you fling him out of the spot, but no, I'm in you it. screw up. Yeah, you you literally get yourself thrown back into the mess. Oh, okay. Um, cool. So so, but at least you helped him out. He's back in control. You you're in a bad spot. Back. Oh, cool, and now it's his and, turn. And now it is his turn. So right. you've just been grabbed and flung out of this mess, and you're watching Merrick get dragged away by the fighters again. <laughs> Um, alright, let's do it. <laughs> how can I use, how can I use, um, on my momentum with the kinetic force? Oh, shit, what would you like to do? I mean, you could do a lot of things with this. Um, fly back towards Merrick, do some kind of, like, force explosion, transform into, like, you know... Wait, what, what, what am I on right now? Am I in the, <laughs> am I in the snub or am I like humanoid form? Uh, you can be either way you want it. I imagined you guys in the snub fire form, but you can transform basically with a thought. Cool. You should you should just crush 
all the tiny ships. Yeah. So you like, could totally, you could totally do that. Grab them and do a bomb. Mm -hmm. the, do the I force mean, you crush. could just do it with the yeah. You could do a force. You could do a presence crush. Dude, yeah, I'm sorry, crazy. presence, presence. <laughs> force crush, force push. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So you are you are resetting your momentum back to two. Let's do it. Um, and here's the thing, though, because you're in your fighter, your connection as you go to reach for this, your connections with the presence amplifies like a hundredfold, and all of the ships that are on the Legion side, and I mean the carriers too implode and they're all just all the ones that were moving what? are just taken out what? the carriers <laughs> the carriers too i i quickly be like fuck it's gonna be a lot to carry Carlos, I call no, armor. I gonna end up on that fucking cube <laughs> oh wait they don't got souls yo we might have just liberated oh. some people now that i think about it all right all right, all right sorry go ahead no, no. Uh, I mean, it's the, the, you could just cripple the ships. About, you know, like, at, as you're reaching in, you could either kill all these people or you could just cripple the ships. What about it's up to you. If you cripple them, will they not be dead? Um, I don't, I think it would give them time to fix things. Nah, no, sorry, I ain't got time to think about it. I'm just trying to save Merrick, so... That was very ableist yeah. of you, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's mainly like you could, yeah. But yeah, so you, you yeah you reach in and it's just you realize like all of this power is at your fingertips and you don't just save Merrick, you save the entire enlightened world fleet, and just like all of these ships just boop and they stop. Even the ones fighting, even the ones those stays fighting. No, I think those those are already disabled. Oh, I think you just reach into the ones that are still... And they're probably out of range. Yeah, yeah. I think this is mainly just... I think it's mainly just the carriers. I hope you guys um, lose. Kinetic is OP. Yeah, I mean, you're 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 in your snub fighter, and yeah, it it's... You feel like the entire... Like, you can reach out, and you are all of this space for a while like you are connected to each and every last bit of it and you just are like a god for a second and can just yeah you can crush them completely like beer cans or you can just disable them it's whatever you're just for a moment of clarity you're like oh i have control of all of this i like crush them just enough to like the point where they can't be fixed Alrighty. Like without like, you know, heavy mechanical kind of work. Nah, nah, you know what? They'll have to be scrapped. You know. Like if the insurance sees yeah. them, they'll be salvaged. Cool. I mean it's <laughs> if there that is still a difference of crushing it a bit, like totaling a car or smashing it like a beer can are very different. So <laughs> so yeah, I mean like nobody's instantly killed. Um but yeah, this battle is over. Um I right, just like light up blunt like we're done. Hey, yeah, I love I was, it. I was thinking now might be a time for a quick break or an extended break. Yeah, I'm cool with like a twenty minute, twenty minute break. Oh, what do you guys feel? Huh? I don't know if I need all that time, but I'm don't. I don't mind. Yeah, we'll be chilling. All right. I just gotta cool. entertain um, his lady friend real quick. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Twenty minutes it is then. Didn't be off. I'll be just chilling here. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll be back in a bit. Could unpause my show, though. Luke's going to go shit. Nice. <clears throat> What's today? Sunday? Any anime? The fuck is this? Oh shit, the new seasons are starting. To learn what happens, keep listening.
This show is brought to you ad-free by Privilege. No ads, no Patreon, just a cishet white man with disposable income and time. It is performed, edited, and all that good stuff by Redstone Archender. The story is powered by the game Iron Sworn Starforged by Sean Tompkin. Outro by Glitter Snitchel, channeling the spirits. This has been a Sofa King Cool production.